take a brief look at some of the new features in the Final Cut Pro speed changes here. Now I'm going to play this clip. As you can see, it's just a skier skiing and jumping. No big deal. So used to, if you wanted to create a freeze frame, you'd have to go to the section of the clip you wanted. You'd have to go up to modify. You'd say make freeze frame. Then you'd have to see how long you wanted your freeze frame by setting the duration up here. Then you'd have to cut your clip and insert your freeze frame. Yada, yada, yada. So let's just create a freeze frame using the new Final Cut Pro 7 speed change enhancements, so to speak. So let's open up our keyframe box here that where we can see our keyframes. And you can see our speed ticks here. The closer they are together, the faster your clip is. The further apart they are, the slower it is. And let's turn on our overlays, okay? So now, if you notice, all we have to do... I'm going to right, right there, and I'm just going to click. And when I click, you'll notice, boom, it sets a keyframe for me automatically now. Now I'm going to move forward a little bit, about right there, and I'm going to click again. Okay, so now I've set two keyframes. But now I want it to be frozen in between these two keyframes. So that's real easy. All I got to do is right click on this far keyframe, say change speed segment because Final Cut Pro 7 works in segments now. So meaning between these two keyframes is a key segment, between these two keyframes is a key seg is a speed segment, and between this keyframe and the last of the clip is a speed segment. So this has three speed segments in it. And I want to change this middle speed segment. So in order to change the certain speed segment, you got to click on the last keyframe of the speed segment in my experience. If I wanted to change this uh, speed segment, I'd click on this keyframe to change. Okay, But I want to freeze between these two keyframes here in the middle, so I'm going to click the last one, and I'm going to select not change speed, I'm going to select change speed segment. And In future videos, we'll go over the, the in and out and the ripple and all that good stuff. So I want this to freeze. So naturally, I'm going to say 0% in my rate box. And now, as you can see, I've got a frozen frame between those keyframes. He'll come in, and he'll freeze, and then he'll go back to normal speed. Watch. And it's that easy. There's no cutting your clip. There's no um, having to insert a clip. Mind, be mindful of your audio, and this is a much faster way to do things. Now let's get a little bit more in depth. Just another skier coming down the hill. So what if we want him to slow down when he gets to about right there? Okay, well, that's not a problem. I'm going to click once to set a keyframe, and that's going to put one automatically at the beginning and where I clicked, and it's going to give me a speed segment. So this speed segment is covering this portion of the clip. So if I change this key right here, I say change speed segment, let's make it 200%. You can see now the beginning of the clip, he's much faster, okay? I clicked on that keyframe, so I moved that segment, that changed that speed segment. As you can see, the ticks are closer together, okay? So now what if I want him to slow down when he gets to this last keyframe? What if I want him to come in fast, then slow down, okay? So what I'll do is I'll move forward in the timeline a little bit, and I'll click and set another keyframe. And we will right click, we'll say change speed segment. And um, we could make him go slower if we wanted to. So now he's gonna come in fast. He's gonna slow down. He's gonna go back to normal speed. If for instance, he come, we want, what I say we want a freeze frame right there. Let's go ahead and Let's make the freeze frame. What if we want a freeze frame? I don't know. Let me zoom in my time, zoom up my time on here so I can see a little bit better. Now, what if we want a freeze frame right there? I'm gonna click. There, we've added another keyframe. So I'm gonna right click on this far keyframe because I want to change this segment. Say so change speed segment. Make it zero. And now we're gonna come in fast, as you can see my ticks. Then it's going to go to slow motion. Then it's going to stop on a key on a freeze frame, and then it's going to go back to regular speed. Okay, so let's play it. How 
How about we make it a little bit faster at the beginning? So we will right click here, say change speed segment. Let's make it 300 and let's play. So now he's coming in really fast. Let's go maybe over here. If I open up my motion tab, you can see. If I double click, you can see now my keyframes are represented here. Okay. So let me play this back for you. I want it to be a little faster between this and this segment. I want it to be a little faster too. Okay. So what I could do is I could just right click over here and clear that keyframe out. Okay. Now. Now I've removed that keyframe. Now he's going to come in at normal speed. And go out at normal speed with the freeze frame in the middle. So let's right click this one. Say change speed segment. Let's make this 300%. Now he's going to come in really fast before the freeze frame. And then go back out normal speed. What if we want, let's say, let's click... Let's click right here. And let's make between this speed segment faster. So I'll right click, change speed segment, 300%. Now if you notice, we're coming in really fast to a freeze frame. And we're going out really fast. Okay. Or we can set one at the end. Zoom up a little bit here. And we'll slow it down. We'll right click. We'll say change speed segment. Let's slow it down to 65. So now as you can see it's coming in really fast. Hit a freeze frame. Goes out really fast. And then goes into slow motion. Okay. So let's change some things around a little bit. Let's select this keyframe, say change speed segment. Let's slow it down. Let's let's slow it down to 65%. Now he's going to come in fast, freeze frame, and go out really slow. You see there? So how about we just get rid of our freeze frame altogether? I'm going to come over here and clear that out. Now he's going to come in really fast. And you can click and drag these around too. Okay. Now he's going to come in really fast. And when he gets right here, he's going to slow down. Okay, and if you want to make it slower in between there, just click and make a keyframe. Right click, change speed segment. It's on 45 for speed. Let's change it to 30%. Make it even slower. So he's going to come in fast and slow way down. And what if I want to freeze frame about right here? So I'm going to click. There we go. Click again. Right click. Change speed segment. Zero makes me a freeze frame. So now it's going to come in fast, go to slow, freeze frame, go out slow. You can tell all this by looking at my ticks. So let's play it. The freeze frame is so short that you can hardly tell it. But we can grab it like this and drag it out and make it longer. And as you can see, the versatility we now have in Final Cut Pro 7 with our speed changes is remarkably improved. Now doing speed changes ain't nearly as tedious and I can just click and drag around until I get the results I want. It's absolutely marvelous. Now, in future videos, we'll talk about what the ripple sequence is, and we'll talk about these ease in and ease outs. And all it does is, how do you want this speed change to transition? You want it to ease in? You click that. And how many frames do you want it to ease in? You set that over here. I'll say 29. That'll be one second. It'll take one whole second to ease in. That's way too long. So you can see that changed everything. So that's just your ease in and ease out. But we'll go over that in other videos. So... This has been a brief, brief look at some of the new features of FCP 7 and their speed changes. See you next time.